here's today's Ford Model A Q&A. All right, Jonathan says, as a 29 two-door, seems like it constantly having to add water or antifreeze coolant to the radiator. Can't find a leak anywhere and no water in the oil. Any ideas? Uh, chances are it's probably leaky head gasket. Uh, compression gas is pushing the coolant out, which I've seen lots and lots of times. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't mean that water is going to come back into the cylinders and you wouldn't see it on the dipstick. It means that the head gasket has, usually it's between uh, two and three. There's those water passages right there. <clears throat> uh, when there's compression gases, especially when you're Anyway, here's a way to check for it. <laughs> I, I, all I'm going to do is make this answer even longer if I go into that. So the way to check for it, take the um, radiator cap off, drive the car, and drive it hard. So, like, floor it. You know, put it in second, floor it, hold it there, grab third, floor it, hold it there, and watch what happens to the coolant. Now, even with the radiator pretty much full, you should not see coolant come out at all. Hmm. Um, if you have a leak, what will happen is when you're really on it and there's a lot of compression gases, a lot of pressure to push the pistons down, uh, it'll find that little leak in the head gasket and it'll push coolant out. Oh. And you'll find that if you take the radiator cap off. Now, like these other cars around us, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> you can drive with the radiator cap off, you won't lose a drop. Okay. Uh, and that's normal. Um, even like this one, we can drive this thing, no, no radiator cap, it won't lose a drop. Um, but the last one we had, I don't remember which car it was that had the head gasket problem. Um, well, like right now, Bob's um, uh, 29 business coupe, um, that thing is pushing coolant out again. So we retorqued the head and then it was solved. And so. Okay. But at least since there's that, maybe you can try that and hopefully that'll like figure stuff out. We'll try retorquing the head first, but okay. yeah, if, if not, then it's time for a head gasket. Or you might need to have it surface. Now, remember, see here, not long answer. Open a can of worms. <laughs> Open a can of worms. So <laughs> we had that motor. We had that rebuilt motor that we got from the guy down uh, south. And a uh, fresh, brand new, fresh, zero miles rebuilt motor with full inserts, everything else. We installed that in the business coupe. Installed a new head that would have been surfaced, put it on, everything. And immediately that thing had trouble. I mean, from the very first start we did on it, wow. we could see stuff seeping out from between the block and the head gasket, or the head. Uh, we tried retorquing it, everything, couldn't get it, pulled the head off, put another head gasket on it, torqued everything up, and it looked okay. Took it for a drive. The first drive, it was blowing coolant out. Wow. Oh, yeah. We couldn't get that thing to seal. Three head gaskets later, we said, all right, something's wrong. So, and we would change the head even, even change the head. That, that, the story okay, sounding very this? familiar. Okay, yeah? so uh -huh. recently we took that, mo we took the motor out of the car, mm -hmm. put a different motor in the car. But anyway, um, <clears throat> we took that motor to Willie uh, Beckler over at Beckler Machine. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? What's wrong? Because everything looked fine to us looking at it. Mm -hmm. So Willie uh, used his laser stuff on it or whatever, put it on his machine. He ended up having to redeck the block. The block was eight thousandths low, right in the middle of the block. Oh wow! And that was a block fresh from a well-known engine rebuilder. Uh -oh. The top mm -hmm. of the block was not. It looked flat with a straight edge on it, which is why you can't use a straight edge because when he put it on the machine, found out it was eight thousandths low in the middle. Mm. So he redecked the block, mm. we put head on it, fantastic, it's, 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 everything's fine. Okay. Well, hopefully it's not something crazy. Like that. <clears throat> Sorry that took so long. Keep those Model A's driving for generations to come.